One, two. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord in this house. Come on and clap your hands and bless the Lord in this place. Oh, you can do better than that. I didn't say bless me. I said bless the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. For eyes haven't seen, neither ears heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men. What great things God has in store for those who love him. Come and stand and let us pray. Father God, we thank you for bringing us here. We thank you for meeting us here. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your love, your kindness, and tender mercies towards us. Lord, meet us at the point of our need, whatever it may be. For you know what we stand in need of. Lord God, we just appreciate you for keeping us and making us who we are today. Lord, bless those who are on the way, God. Let, us let them arrive safely in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for the, uh, the prelay of this house, the watchman right now in this place, and First Lady. We pray for their families, God, and everybody represented here. Lord, we thank you, for there's none like you. We know who you are, and we thank you for bringing us into the knowledge of knowing who you are. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. I want to say to those who are streaming live that we are so thankful that you have joined us. We welcome you into the presence of the Lord, for this is the Come Alive ministry. And so whatever your need may be, we, are, we know God is well able to meet you right there. Let us read our scriptures coming from Psalms 29, 1 and 2. Give thanks unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give thanks unto the Lord, glory and strength. Give thanks unto the Lord, the glory do his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let's receive the praise team now as they come. Amen. Has God ever pulled you through anything? Amen. Come on and lift those hands and worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Has he pulled you through anything? In 2023, as we get ready to go over to 24, he's pulling you through. Hallelujah, go oh, through all, through all, hallelujah, Lord, it was you, Lord, it was you, hallelujah, Jesus, hey, through all, through all, I've gone, I've gone through, Lord, it was you, Lord, it was you, hallelujah, Jesus, point to him and say, it was you, God, Worship him. Pulling me through. Pulling me through. Oh, that's 
through it, Pete. Oh, when I stumble, when I stumble, when I cry, when I cry, when I fail, when I fail, when I fail, I want it to die. All of my friends, sir, when my friends, sir, they don't want to walk away. Jesus, you were right here, you were right here, right here to say, it was you, God. It was you, God. It was you. Hallelujah. Lord, it was you. Hallelujah. Listen. He'll never walk out on you. Come on, just do like this. Don't ever. Hallelujah. Don't ever. Listen. He'll never walk out on you. No, never. I'm a witness. No, never. Come on, say. He'll never. He'll never walk out on you. No, never. No, never. No, never. No, never. He'll never walk out on you. He'll never walk out on you. No, never. No, never. No, never. No, never. He'll never walk out on you. We'll never, never, no, never, no, never, no, never, no, never, just sing oh, oh. to have church today. I don't know about Woo! you, but in 2023, he never walked out on me, and he never walked out on you. Amen. I don't know about fear, fear. I just feel a little spirit. I feel a little worship spirit. Come on, real soft and say it again. your neighbor we never defeated I want you to stand on your feet that those of you had the victory in 2022 if you are able to stand up on your feet say that's me we are victorious somebody ought to give God a hand of praise Woo! I want you to go testify to three people and tell them 2024 is my year I'm going to consider my ways. Go, you're very alive. This is our year. Because I am never defeated. 
I shall rise. Come on. I will be 2024. You grew alive. I will go in victory. This year, no weapon was formed against me. 2023, it did never overtake me. Ah! And because God, that's why it's the greatest power. I will never be defeated. And because God is the greatest power, I will never be defeated. I shall rise. I shall rise. 2020. I shall be. We're going to move in victorious. I will go. Because we're going to consider our ways. No weapon formed in me. Against me in 2022. It did never overtake me. Because the word of God. I shall rise. I shall rise. And I'm going to be what God said I'm going to be. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go to London. I'm going to go in victory. Because no weapon formed against me should be God. It will never, never overtake me. Overtake me. And because God, because God is the greatest power, ha! we shall never be defeated. Be defeated. And because God, because God is the greatest, the greatest of all. together. Hey! The devil is a liar. Say, God is a dog. I see you. We never be defeated. I got the victory. The devil is a liar. God is a dog. The Woodbury way. I never be defeated. Why feel? I got the victory. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. I never be defeated. I got the victory, everybody. The devil. The devil is a liar. God is. God is exalted. We never be defeated. Never be defeated. We never be defeated. Come out, Jada. Never be defeated. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. God is exalted. I need you to get up and say we never. Never be defeated. Jada, we never been. Never been defeated. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God is. God is I never been defeated. Never been defeated. We're going in 2024. Never been defeated. The devil is a liar. The Come out, Jada. God is. God is. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Oh, I'll 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 never be defeated. Never be defeated. Oh, I'
never be defeated. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Oh, never be defeated. Never be defeated. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. God is exalted. Oh, never be defeated. Never be defeated. Oh, never be defeated. Never be defeated. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, I'll never. Amen. I don't care what I got to go through. I'll never be defeated. Hallelujah. Because God is the greatest power. Amen. The devil is a liar. Amen. God is exalted. Amen. We exalt you, God. You're greater than anything that we face. Amen. We just bless the Lord. Amen. Come on, let's thank God for the praise team this morning. Never be defeated. Amen. How many of you are declaring victory, amen, in 2023? Amen. Hallelujah. And we just thank God for being back in his presence one more time. Amen. It's an honor to be back, amen, in the house of the Lord. Amen. Many danger, toils, and snares. Tell your neighbor, said, I've already come. But it was grace that brought me safe this far. And grace will lead me on, amen. We just appreciate God, amen. We honor, amen, our bishop and our first lady, amen, entire Woodbury Miracle Fellowship Center, amen, and friends, amen. For those of you that are streaming live, we thank God for you as well, amen. Thank God, amen, for you being in the house of the Lord, amen, visitors and friends, amen. Maybe you hadn't been here in a while, but we thank God for you being with us on today, amen. We have, amen, a card of thanks. Amen. It's to, amen, our bishop, first lady, and the entire Woodbury Miracle Fellowship Center church family. And it says right here, amen, the family of Bobby Stevenson Sr. acknowledge with grateful appreciation your kind expression of sympathy. Thank you, Sister Jackie Stevens. Come on, let's show her some love. Amen. Amen. They had the home going service, amen, on Wednesday. Amen. And we just thank God. We thank God for you, Jackie. Amen. We appreciate God. Amen. No fast day. Amen. No, no Tuesday night service. Amen. Bible study. Amen. Bible teaching. No Tuesday night Bible teaching. Amen. To all men. How many men did I say? Men Sunday school will resume next January the 7th. Amen. 2024. At 9.30 a.m. Ella Bussy. Amen. All men. Amen. We thank God for all the men. Amen. Amen. We have a number of prayer requests. Asking prayer for Camilla. Amen. And her family. Amen. This is the Debbie Culpepper daughter. Amen. Elizabeth Weaver. She's at home. Amen. Asking prayer for her. Tina Willingham. Amen. We asking prayer for her as well. We're asking prayer for all of our mothers and our deacons. Amen. Deacon Dennis, Diane Bowles, Charlie Florence, Ella Alamine and her family. Amen. Sister Brenda, Minister Brenda Harp and her mother. Amen. Asking prayer for her. Mother Don, amen. Her son, three brothers, and her sister Ann. Amen. 
I also want to be praying for our sister Erica Harnett, amen. Her grandmother passed away. We want to keep them in prayer as well, amen. So we thank God for all of you, amen. We, amen. Looking forward to January 2024, amen. The thing says, scripture says that Lamentation 322 through 23, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion they are not. They are new every morning. Great is God faithfulness. Isn't he great? Amen. amen. His faithfulness. Amen. You can always count on God. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Amen. Say, a church of life. Say, it is worth the drive. drive. Amen. We just thank God for your being with us on this morning. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God is truly a good God. He's worthy of all of the praise and all of the honor. God is exalted. Turn to your neighbor, tell a neighbor, say, neighbor, he's already been defeated. Turn to another neighbor and say, neighbor, he's already been defeated. <laughs> yes, sir, we have the victory. Amen. We, we faced a lot of trials, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. A lot of things came our way. But God remained faithful. <laughs> the Lord held us up. There were times when I couldn't even walk. <laughs> he gave me the strength. Yes, he did. I, things I just didn't understand. He helped me to deal with it. God is a good God. That's it. That's it. He's worthy of all of the praise. I've learned if you, if you, if you continue with a grateful heart, Walk with a grateful heart. Live with a grateful heart. God will continually open doors for you. He'll continue to bless you. He'll continue to make ways for you. I find myself telling God thank you when I get a meal. I was in the Waffle House the other day and I got a, a meal and Got food for my wife and grandkids and um, got ready to go up there and pay for it. Somebody had already paid for it. I didn't want to I didn't want to break out in tears in public, but y'all know me though. <laughs> I, I cried in a minute. Because don't nobody have to give you nothing. <laughs> I learned to say thank you. And appreciate when somebody do something for me. It's offering time. Give and it shall be given unto you. Press down and shaking together. And running over with good measure shall men give unto your bosom. It is the liberal soul. That shall be made fat. Malachi 3, and they say, will a man rob God? But you say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Bring ye all the tithes to the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me. Here will, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing, that you would not have room enough to receive it. And all nations shall call you blessed. Point to yourself and say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed and highly favored. Somebody asked a question the other day, do God have favor? Of course. <laughs> of course he does. He don't have respect to person, but he has favor. Everybody's standing. If 
bow your heads. Kind Heavenly Father, we thank you for this offering. We thank you for those that are sowing into this ministry. God, we ask and pray that you continue to bless their seed, bless their offering. God, we know that each and every one of us have different things that we need. But God, you know everybody need in this place. God, we ask you and pray that you move on their behalf. God, if they need a door open, open that door for them, God. Oh, God, if they need a door closed, close that door. Somebody need healing in their body. Oh, God, heal in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and we'll give you the praise. We'll give you all of the glory and all of the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beginning from the real, let's bring our tithes and offerings. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. We're going to ask all the choir members to come to the choir stand. Amen. All the way, I got to go. Going all the way with the Lord. All the way, I must go all the way. No turning back. Amen. I want to take this time to say thank you to the Woodbury family. I told uh, Peaches, I don't think there's another member in this church that I ain't called. Y'all have really made her feel good. And I thank God for you, Woodbury family. We just a family, amen? And we just love one another. I'm glad to be in the family. How about you? Oh, yes. Come, the Almighty King. We're going to need some max, amen. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul.
How many ready for a word on this evening? Are you ready for a word? Last Sunday in 2023, I believe God has something great for us in 24. I don't know about you, but I've been through a lot. My body really tired. Ripping and running, my body really tired. But you know what? I got to give him praise. I got to give him honor. I got to give him glory. Cause he deserves the praise. He deserves my praise. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, I so prize I. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen, amen. Resting on your feet. There's a word from the Lord. The thing that keeps me going is the word of God. When I'm faced with difficulty, trials and tests, they called my husband last night and said, another one of the family members gone. And the young man that got killed, his sister, is in the hospital in a coma. I told my husband, I said, you know who with you, right? You know who got your back, don't you? Nobody but Jesus. He's the only one that can keep you in your mind when you feel like you're going crazy. Only Jesus can mend a broken hearted. Only Jesus can bring peace with a troubled mind. I said, Lord, all we got is you. All we got is you. And if you don't do it, it just won't be done. I, I, I feel that song came to me. Sitting up in the hospital of 15 hours. In a straight chair. Wrap my legs with blanket because it's cold. And all I can hear feel with that song. You got to do it. You got to do it. It's out of my control. Lord, I got a problem. Only you can stop. Only you can stop. So long. So long. Yeah. Do it for me. Do it for me. Look at somebody and tell them, do it for me. Tell them, do it for me. I, I can't handle it. Do it for me. I'm too fragile. Do it, do it for me. I'm too close to it. Do Lord. it for me. Lord. Lord, do it for me. Lord. Do it for me. Oh Lord, oh Lord, do it for do WMLC it for Church right now. I have a problem, Lord. I got a problem. Only you can solve. Only you can solve. So Lord, so Lord, do it, do it for me. There's a word from the Lord. There's a bomb in Gilead. Oh my, shama sekoro There's a bomb in Gilead. Ready to heal the sin sick soul. Get ready, saints. 24 is your year. Tell the devil I ain't staying at home no more. I, I, I'm coming to church among them that are sanctified because I need some strength. I need some strength. A word for me. Let's receive our bishop as he comes. The bishop, Thomas Daniel. Somebody clap your hand and say, Preach, bishop. Somebody shout, Preach, bishop. Lord, I got a problem. Only you can solve. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord. Do it for me. Do it. And, and then when, 
Uh, I've been playing that song. I finally recorded it. Yes, and I've been playing it. Playing it last night. I just had the earphones in my ear. Wide open. And then, and, 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 and then, Spirit just spoke over there and said, you know what? God said, I already done, done it for you. God said, I can do it, but I've already. When I put my son on that cross, he was wounded, bruised, beaten. I've already. I've already done it. That was one price that had to be paid. Hallelujah. And my son took that one price. He did it. And by his stripes, he did it. he'll bring you out of any situation, any circumstance. Give the Lord a hand clap if you will. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. A couple of things I'd like to make mention before we go into the message on today. Amen. No service uh, Tuesday. We didn't have it, amen, Christmas, uh, day after Christmas, so we won't have it uh, this coming uh, watch night. And tonight's supposed to be watch night, but we got day watch night. Amen. We thank God for so many of you coming to be with us on tonight, amen. If you want to stay up at 1 o'clock and pray, 12 o'clock and pray, that's okay. I, I think I'm going to be asleep, though. I think I'm going to be sleeping, but. God is good. Amen. God is good. Also, um, seeding, we was up uh, uh, ministering a couple of sun Sundays ago, and uh, Sister Tahiti jumped up talking about, amen, put a seed on. So, uh, this whole month of January, we have some tithing envelopes, uh, some seeding envelopes, and so we want. Uh, Bernard, you can go get that box on the, on the desk. There's some seeding envelopes that you can use for whenever you want to just seed into, amen, the ministry. You can seed into it, put a seed, and we're going to use for the whole year. Put a seed on it. And what that really means is that uh, whenever you got a problem or a situation or circumstance, and you want God to just intervene right quick, you need him right now, look for a seed. Look for a seed. Uh, and, and, and I was telling you a couple of weeks ago how the lady in line and all of a sudden it for the food to pay for the food that we had. And the lady had a lady in front of her and she didn't have all the money she needed. She was getting a lot of food for people. And so the lady just took out and the card and gave her the card. She filled out the rest of it. And I said, ma'am, you got to be a Christian uh, to do that. She said, well, my son was in trouble. And he just needed some help right quick. So I had to put his seed out there. I had to get a seed out there. And so that's what the seed is. You can't have a harvest until you put some in the ground. Can I say that again? You cannot have a harvest until you put something in the ground. And then when you put it in the ground, it just don't come up instantly. It take a minute or a while for a season to come. But after a while, you put a seed on it. Some way, somehow. You're going to know that that thing doesn't come up. You're going to know. And your mind going to go back, why? Why did that happen? Uh, and, and you're going to go back to that seed and how that seed came up. So for the whole year, and any time you're going through something, just put a seed on it. Just show some kindness to somebody. Just be a light to somebody. Also, before we leave today, we want to pray for all of the young people going back to school. These schools are something. And there's a lot going on in these schools. As a matter of fact, the whole world is something. There's a lot going on in this world. So we need God. So we want to pray for our kids. We want all our kids down. I was in a, in, in, in a certain, uh, doing a eulogy a while back, and, and you know, one of the young men spoke about that uh, his his. Uh, grandmother, it was Mother uh, King's funeral, and she was telling him, you need to get some oil. She always talked about oil, 
And that's what we use around here. We use oil so I had to explain what oil is. It's a point of contact. There's nothing in the oil. We use olive oil. It's just a point of contact. Amen. And making contact with God and God making contact with you. And you believe in God, amen, to do whatever you are seeking for, whatever you have need of. So that's all the oil is. So we want to grease these kids down today real good and let them know that we, we love them and we care about them. We want the, the blessings of the Lord to be on your life. Is that all right? Amen. God is good. Thank God for another year. <laughs> Victory in 23. He's kept us and we're grateful for his goodness. Even though the pandemic is still going on, amen, COVID is still in, in process, but you know what? God is keeping his people. God is helping his people. God is blessing us. And we are grateful for that. Amen. Romans 5. Romans 5. That amen, that first through the fifth verses. Romans 5, 1, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have access by faith unto this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we glory in tribulation. We glory in trouble also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Father, in the name of Jesus, somebody need a miracle. Somebody need a touch. Somebody need deliverance. Somebody need healing in their bodies, healing in their minds, healing in their spirit. We pray right now, God, that you will send a fleshing of rain. Rain on us, God. Rain on your people. Send your anointing, God, that breaks every yoke. Let the oppressed go free. Mm, you're a healer. You're a way maker. It's already been done. You proved it already, Lord. We're just standing on your word. We're believing and trusting in your word. Now, Holy Ghost, have your way. Hide us behind your glory that the people may see you. And not us would be so careful to give your name praise. Glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Today I want to encourage you, uh, amen, to turn the page. Turn the page and move on. Turn the page and move on. Every one of us in here. Something happened in 23. As a matter of fact, something happened in 20 when the pandemic hit. And all the rest of the years up to now. But today I'm encouraging you to turn the page. Just let it go. Let, let, let what happened go and turn the page. And move on. Turn the page and move on. Hebrews 6 and 1 said, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection. God is asking his children to be perfect. And we know we have this treasure in earthen vessels, all of us mess up every now and then. But Paul is writing, I believe Paul is writing to, amen, the church. He said, therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation 
of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. In other words, amen, leaving doctoring, leaving, let us go on to perfection. Let us go on and serve him. Don't let nothing stop you from going on to perfection, moving on from our tough times, moving on from our fears, moving on from our hurts, moving on from our failures, moving on from our disappointment. All of us in here got some stuff that we've got to move on from. So God is saying, laying aside, leave it alone. Leaving the principles of the doctrine, let us go on to perfection. Now, let's go back to Romans 5. Romans 5 says, therefore, being justified by faith. When you come to God, he justify you by your faith in him. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have access by faith into the grace, this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of glory. In other words, we're just not here shouting, we're just not here running, but amen, we have faith in the grace that we stand in and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God through Jesus Christ. We have all of that through Jesus Christ. And not only so, but we glory in trouble. I'm going to say that again. We got a glory in tribulations. Glory in tribulations. Let me say it one more time. Glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation, trouble, heartache, pain, work it, patience. You'll never learn God until you go through some stuff. You'll never know who God is. You'll never know how great he is. You'll never know how much powerful he is until you go through some stuff. You want to know what, what, what really get young folk in trouble when they get spoiled. The, 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 the family just spoil them until they don't really know what they do. They don't know what a, 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 a no means. But in life, you're going to get some no. And some in, in life, it's going to come a day when you look to get paid and you, all the money ain't there. And here he's saying, not only so, but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulations worketh, worketh, worketh. The Bible said, train up a child in the way that he should grow. And when he get old, he will not. If you put it in him, after a while, it's going to come out of him. But something's got to go in him. Something got to go. Just keep telling him the truth. Keep telling him. You keep bringing him to church. After a while, some go, some stop me one day. And told me, you got to make a change. And I made the change. And not only so, but we glory in trouble when trouble comes. I'm a better person because of trouble. I'm a better person because of the things that I've gone through. For, uh, next year will be 40 years of pastoring. And believe you me, this hair ain't gray for nothing. There's a reason why this hair on my head. And, and then I started growing my mustache. My, my, and, and, and now hair, gray, gray hair is on that too. Can I get a witness? But, 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 but the, the struggle is worth the reward. 
the struggle is worth the reward. Anybody can be a failure, but it takes somebody willing to keep going to be successful. Can I say that again? Anybody can fail. Just don't get up and go to work. You are a failure. But if you want to make it in life, you got to learn how to allow some things to knock it down. Millionaires, millionaires, they don't get millionaires overnight. But they keep getting knocked down and get back up, getting knocked down and get back up, getting knocked down and get back up until something happens. It causes finance to flow into their life. The songwriter said, trouble don't last always. Not only so, but we glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation work for us. Trouble work for us. Shirley put it this way, Shirley Caesar. She never had rain in your life. It'll make you appreciate the sunshine. Can I get a witness? Lord, it rained, it rained, it rained Christmas. I won't leave that alone. Verse 4, but patience and patience experience. You don't know what you don't know until you find out you don't know it. So when you got patience enough to wait, you learn something. The other day, my, on, on my door going to the bathroom, something dropped in the door and it went down on the, on, 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 on the floor. And all of a sudden, we couldn't get the door to move back and forth. So I told First Lady, I'm going to go and take this door down and, and block that that's coming down. And First Lady said, don't do it. She said, don't you touch my door. <laughs> don't, don't you mess with me. I told her all I had to do was take the hinges up and, and, and set the door down and get under there and block some whatever coming out. Don't mess with the door. Patience brings long and experience. How can I work on things if she won't? Moving on, moving on, moving on. But patience, experience, and experience give you what? Hope. Experience give you hope. And hope make it not what? A shame because the love of God is shed, spread it abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto you, unto you. Now, 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 24, victory in 23. But now, 23 after 12 o'clock will be over. Now we got to deal with 24. 24 is tomorrow. Tw at, 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 at midnight, 24 is tomorrow. This is what Paul said in Philippians 3 and 13. Paul said, brethren, I caught not myself to have apprehended. In other words, I didn't get all the 23. I learned some things, but I didn't learn everything. So there's some things I still don't know. But Paul said, brethren, I caught not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing, uh, this one thing I know one thing I know is that God will work it out. I, I learned that. I learned that in 23. And in, 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 in other words, Paul said, uh, uh, one thing I've ever heard, but this one thing I do know, uh, forgetting in order to turn the page is some stuff you got to let go. You cannot turn the page. You cannot turn the page in your life until you're willing to let some stuff go. God, do not allow us, amen, retaliation. God, do not allow his children to retaliate against somebody that have afflicted them or hurt them. God said, vengeance I'm the father of all men. Vengeance is mine and I will repay. If you're getting folks back for what they've done to you, God's going to get you back 
of what you did to them. Because God said, vengeance is mine. I know how to I know how to fix them. I know how to treat them because I was there when they were born and I'm going to be there when they're dead and I know how to get them. God know how to get every one of us and he don't get us the same way. Some folk can't take what God put on you, but if you taking it, it's because, amen, God knows you can handle it because it's working for your good. And, 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 and God is a teacher. God is a master. I call him a master teacher. Abraham and Sarah, they cut it up. But they did have the child. Didn't have no child and didn't have no children. But, 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 but 25 years later, they waited long enough. And all of a sudden, when he got about 100, amen, now he has produced a seed. Now he has produce a seed and he became the father of faith he turned the page Moses 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 they were killing all the children in his time and all of a sudden amen what they did the, the mother loved it Moses so much the baby she put him in the water and, and let him go down the stream, and all of a sudden, the, the, the Pharaoh's daughter picked the baby up, took him, in, and for years, Moses lived in the palace. Had it made, but all of a sudden, Moses made a choice to forsake the riches of Egypt and to, and to enjoy his family and to go with them. You know what he did? Forty years. He went in the wilderness. Then when he came and, and, and delivered the people out of bondage, 40 years. 40 years he was in the backside of the desert. Then 40 years he was in the wilderness trying to get them to Canaan land. That's trouble. That is trouble trying to get folks to go where they don't want to go. And you know why they didn't want to go? Because they kept eating the same food in, in bondage. Sometimes folks don't know you got to leave bondage to go to freedom. You got to let some stuff go to get some more stuff you need. Can I get a witness? And, 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 and through all that, God would not allow Moses to go in with him. He wouldn't do it. He would not allow Moses to go in with him. He saw it, but he could not go in. Then the one that was serving him, Joshua. Joshua had all that responsibility on him. Joshua had to deal with all of these people. But you know what Joshua said? As for me and my house. We will serve the Lord. And Joshua didn't even have to fight. All they had to do was keep going around. <laughs> but seven days, all they had to do was keep going around. God was able to fight. We fighting, but we don't have to fight because God is able. Exceedingly abundant above all that we can ask. Or think according to the power and the work on the inside. Joshua said, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to serve the Lord. So, neighbor, I don't care if you're hurting. Let it go. Turn the page. I don't care if you're broke today. You ain't going to die being broke. Turn. Pray, the law, your job, that's okay. There's some more jobs out there. Turn the page. Even your own family don't like it. That's okay. Don't run from it. Turn. Turn. 
earn the pay. Bishop won't let you do something in the church. That's okay. Turn. 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 The pay sooner or later, he's going to get some sense. Can I get a witness? You got to learn how to turn the pay. People ain't going to always give you what you want, but you got to turn. You ain't going to always eat the food you want to eat, but you got to turn. Let it go. You got to make up your mind to let it go. For God, I live. And for God, I'm willing to die. Paul, Paul was the one that spoke that in Philippians. Paul was the one, amen, that had the responsibility to bring the, amen, the Gentiles to God. Paul had a responsibility. He was killing them. Then he turned around and started causing them to come to God. God gave him a turnaround in his life. And every one of you, amen, you've changed how you live. But don't just change how you live. Live for God. Let God put you in a position, amen, where everything you do is because of him. So today, today, I want to hear a little bit of uh, uh, Kennedy Ken uh, 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 of that, that song that the young folk were singing a, a, a while back. God will work it out. I don't care what you're going through, my friend. I come to tell you today that God will work it out. Some way. Somehow. God will work it out. Young man, you don't have to go in and get no drugs and try to get drugs to lift you up. God will work it out. Can I get a witness? I don't know who that man was fighting with his wife or whatever in Griffin, but I heard on the, on the TV, first lady came and got me and said, somebody been shot, a policeman been shot in Griffin, Georgia. The man just went, amen, to just, just try to get the, the man straightened out, and all of a sudden, the man shot both of the officers. And one of them didn't make it. One of them didn't make it. Can you imagine that man and his family? This is the world we live in, but some way, somehow, God got a way of working out any situation. Even when Jesus was on the cross, God worked it out. God didn't give him a three days to do what he had to do in the grave. He didn't have a long time. He didn't have 40 years like I've had. He only had three days in the grave. And he had to preach to the prisons that were in bondage in the grave. And everybody who had died before he came, the Messiah came, was in bondage. Everybody that was before didn't know who he was. So he had to go down in the grave and preach. To them in the grave. That they would have the faith to know. That some way. Somehow. God. Would work it out. My friend if you got God. There's no situation. There's no circumstance. Nobody can hold you down. Nobody can hold you back. Some way, somehow, God. If your marriage ain't the best, maybe you need to change. Can I say that again? If your marriage ain't the best, maybe you need to change. Because God know how to work out your marriage. God know how to work out your home. God know how you got to be willing to turn. Oh my God. For God I live. And for God I'm willing to die. If Jesus died for you, you ought to be willing to die for him. That's right. Can I say that again? If Jesus died for you, and your low down self, you ought to be willing to die for him.
He'll work it out. Don't you try to work it out. Don't you try. You're going to mess it up if you try to do it. But God will work it out. I don't know how. I don't know how he's going to do it. Shove somewhere. One thing. God. God. He'll work it out for you. He'll work it out for you. He'll work it out for you. He don't have no respect of a person. He ain't like a lot of people. The, the color of your skin make them don't want to help you. God will help anybody. This is what Jesus said. This is what Jesus said. Whosoever we are. Who, this is what God and Jesus do. He said, whosoever we are, let him come. Let him come to me. I mean, though he, he may be weary, I don't care what he is. I don't care if he's a drug addict, let him come. I don't care if he, he's a prostitute. Let him come. Let him. Come to me, all you that labor in the heavy lady. I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn. My yoke is easy, my burden. You'll find a way out. Just come. Just come. Don't you put it on your shoulders. Your shoulders ain't big enough. Turn the page. Take your burden to the Lord. Take your burden. Don't live under the weight of your burden. Take it to God. Cast your care on, he said, on me. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you always, even unto the end of the world. Then I'm going to send my son back. And, and, and he ain't coming all the way, but I'm going to send him back. And he's going to get everybody that served me through him. And he's going to take you back to be with his father. And that's where you're going to get the mansion. You're going to get it when you go back. That's where you're going to get everything you want. You're going back. If you're here and you're trying to handle your life yourself, quit. Because all you're going to do is mess it up and worse. But if you turn it over to Jesus, problem that I had, couldn't seem to solve. Kept getting weak and weak. But if you turn it over to Jesus, he'll work it out. He said he's already done it. And that means that by your stripes, as Peter said, we were, we were, Already, he's already paid the price. He's already paid the price. I'm finna close. Let me say this. Somebody said the other day that that they were talking to some young person, and they said, "Well, you shouldn't do weed because you know." You, you know weed is. You know weed is, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what weed is. Yeah, they know. And so, yeah, we yeah, we know weed. But but he said he said no. It's just like put the head in the God. You see, and he said God put it out there for medicine. What kind of mess is that? What kind of mess is that? Weed was. Just like the, 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 the greens, it ain't like the greens. You can eat the greens. But now, okay, wait a minute. I, I'm, I'm finna mess up right now. Everybody know about Reed, wave your hand. Good God Almighty, it's my whole, good God Almighty. <laughs> Crash is alive. I ain't nobody just know it. Well, okay. Yeah. Let me change that. Let me change that. Everybody, whoever done read, raise, ain't no hand going up now. Raise your hand. Everybody ever done read? Yeah, 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 yeah.
Now we're talking. And there's a, 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 a principal, we got a principal in the back, so I got to watch what I say. But now, when I was in school, they told me, say, no, nah, if you just take weed before you go to class, and you got to take that test, you got to pass the test. So if you take that test, it's going to cause you to be able to think. But the, 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 the class had been over. I'm still trying to think because that weed. I couldn't come up with the answer because I'm trying to think. <laughs> I didn't know I got high. Yeah. I got too high to think. <laughs> you don't need no help. Let all the help you got go. Get rid of all the hoover dust and everything else. Trust my father. Trust God, he will work it out. Okay, children, all the children. Ministers, come up. Put some, put some all on your hand. Put some all on your hand. Oh, God. We want the children to come from this side over here. Anybody working in the school system want you to come to? God. Let's get on that road. Two, two sides. Two sides this way and two, some this way and some right here. Right over here. Right over here. Working in the school system. Here you come. Two, two, two. If you come. face that way, you turn around and face this way. You turn around and face that way. Some on that side. Some on that side. And you keep going. Everybody pray for everybody, okay? Oh.